Nefer Neferuat and Nefertiti, Nefertiti meaning, the beautiful one has come, was a queen of the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt, the great royal wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten. Nefertiti and her husband were known for their radical overhaul of state religious policy, in which they promoted the earliest known form of monotheism the belief of one god, Atonism which was centered on the cult of Aden, a god depicted as the disk of the sun. Aden was originally an aspect of Ra, Egypt's traditional solar deity, though he was later asserted by Akhenaten as being the superior of all deities. With her husband, she reigned at what was arguably the wealthiest period of ancient Egyptian history. Some scholars believe that Nefertiti ruled briefly as Nefernaferuaden. A female pharaoh, after her husband's death and before the ascension of Tutankhamun, although this identification is a matter of ongoing debate. If Nefertiti did rule as pharaoh, her reign was marked by the fall of Amarna and relocation of the capital back to the traditional city of Thebes. She was made famous by her bust, now in Berlin's Neues Museum. The bust is one of the most copied works of art of ancient Egypt. It was attributed to the sculptor Thutmosa, and it was found in his workshop. Almost nothing is known about Nefertiti's life prior to her marriage to Akhenaten. Scenes from the tombs of the nobles in Amarna mention that Nefertiti had a sister, named Mutbenret. Further, a woman named Tay carried the title of nurse of the great royal wife. In addition, Tay's husband A, carried the title God's father. Some Egyptologists believe that this title was used for a man whose daughter married the pharaoh. Based on these titles, it has been proposed that A was in fact Nefertiti's father. However, neither A nor Te are explicitly referred to as Nefertiti's parents in the existing sources. At the same time, no sources exist that directly contradict I's fatherhood which is considered likely due to the great influence he wielded during Nefertiti's life and after her death. According to another theory, Nefertiti was the daughter of I and a woman besides Te, but I's first wife died before Nefertiti's rise to the position of queen, whereupon A married Te, making her Nefertiti's stepmother. Nevertheless, this entire proposal is based on speculation and conjecture. It has also been proposed that Nefertiti was Akhenaten's full sister, though this is contradicted by her titles which do not include the title of king's daughter or king's sister, usually used to indicate a relative of a pharaoh. Another theory about her parentage that gained some support identified Nefertiti with the Mitanni princess Tadu Kipa, partially based on Nefertiti's name, the beautiful woman has come, which has been interpreted by some scholars as signifying a foreign origin. However, Tadu Kipa was already married to Akhenaten's father and there is no evidence for any reason why this woman would need to alter her name in a proposed marriage to Akhenaten, nor any hard evidence of a foreign non-Egyptian background for Nefertiti. The exact dates when Nefertiti married Akhenaten and became the king's great royal wife are uncertain. They are known to have had at least six daughters together, including Meritaten, Mekataten, Anxenpaten, later called Anka Seneman when she married Tutankhamun, Neferneferuat and Tasherit, Nefernafer, and Seti Piner. She was once considered as a candidate for the mother of Tutankhamun, however a genetic study conducted on discovered mummies suggests that she was not. During the early years in Thebes, Akhenaten, still known as Amenhotep IV, had several temples erected at Karnak. One of the structures, the mansion of the Benban was dedicated to Nefertiti. She is depicted with her daughter Meritaten and in some scenes the princess Mekataten participates as well. In scenes found on the Taladet, Nefertiti appears almost twice as often as her husband. She is shown appearing behind her husband the pharaoh and offering scenes in the role of the queen supporting her husband. But she is also depicted in scenes that would have normally been the prerogative of the king. She is shown smiting the enemy, and captive enemies decorate her throne. In the fourth year of his reign, Amenhotep IV decided to move the capital to Akhetaten, modern Amarna. In his fifth year, Amenhotep IV officially changed his name to Akhenaten, and Nefertiti was henceforth known as Neferneferuat and Nefertiti. The name change was a sign of the ever-increasing importance of the cult of the Aden. It changed Egypt's religion from a polytheistic religion to a religion which may have been better described as a monolatry, the depiction of a single god as an object for worship, or henotheism, one god, who is not the only god. The new city contains several large open-air temples dedicated to the Aden. Nefertiti and her family would have resided in the great royal palace in the center of the city and possibly at the northern palace as well. Nefertiti and the rest of the royal family feature prominently in the scenes at the palaces and in the tombs of the nobles. Nefertiti's steward during this time was an official named Mariar II. He would have been in charge of running her household. Inscriptions in the tombs of Uya and Mariar II dated to year 12, second month of Peret, Day 8 show a large foreign tribute. The people of Karu, the north, and Kush, the south, 
are shown bringing gifts of gold and precious items to Akhenaten and Nefertiti. In the tomb of Merir II, Nefertiti's steward, the royal couple is shown seated in a kiosk with their six daughters in attendance. This is one of the last times Princess Mekhetaten is shown alive. Mekhetaten may have died in year 13 or 14. Nefertiti, Akhenaten, and three princesses are shown mourning her. The last dated inscription naming her and Akhenaten comes from a building inscription in the limestone quarry at Deir Abu Hinnis. It dates to year 16 of the king's reign and is also the last dated inscription naming the king.